horror story that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. You knew Zane, Thomas Zane. You're the Lady of the Light in the song. He left something behind to help me, the clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake, the final episode of Alan Wake, episode 6. I had a hangover. My head was about to explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. In one of my finer moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. Sunglasses. Made the world looked bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. I never had a dr dr night after drunk like this. The pills worked fast. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. There was a message waiting for me on the machine. Ah, here's the phone. You have one new message. Ow! Are you still asleep? Wakey, wakey! You should have your show on your TiVo. If Alice wasn't too mad to record it, then she called me earlier and really chewed me out. Yeah, yeah, we went a little overboard last night. But parties are a part of this business. Ow, look, I'm saying this as your friend. She's not doing your career any favors by trying to run your life like that, okay? I'll talk to you later, Al. Watch the show! Alright, let's watch our own TV show. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Harry Gallet Show! Thank you. Thank you, everybody. We have a great show tonight. I've been talking with the best-selling author, Alan Wake, about his new book, the sudden stop. Yeah, good read. Go buy it. No, no, it is a good read. Look, uh, I'm gonna be honest here. Is that wise? No, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, this might be a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> but this last book is all about the death of the main character, the hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about this. Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. You selfish bastard, always thinking of yourself. Well, you've certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the years. Okay, now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with the ladies. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No, nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. Well, congratulations. That's great to hear. So, how's the publicity tour been treating you? Good. Great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Well, you've certainly been on the news a lot lately. Lots of parties and, um... You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh, man. Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Uh, you are famous for that temper. 
Well, I did also write several books. Well, your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there who haven't bought it yet. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam Lake. Once more, do the face for his Sam. And our musical guests, Poets of the Fall. Thank you. And At least I'd been funny. I told myself I could live with that. I didn't say anything stupid, if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. You want an aspirin or something? Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? Go back to sleep, Alan. What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey, it's almost over, right? We can get back to normal, and you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah, you're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation, just you and me. Some peace and quiet. Somehow, the clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms, to make it all right. Why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. Well, I got the gun clipped into Alan's back there. Good luck, Al. See you later. When I got out, it was warm and sunny. I'd flicked the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I'd stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. You know, speaking of, um, books where the main protagonist dies, or even just stories, that is tricky to pull off. I have pulled it off Hello. twice Enjoy. successfully. Surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape, it was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this. Having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed, there would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. Oh look, product placement. Yeah, I forgot. This game was made when that was a big deal, uh, product placement in video games. Uh, but yeah, I've killed off my main protagonist twice. And uh, in two separate stories there were uh it was two story it was a story that I wrote uh back when I was screwing around on DeviantArt. I wrote the first story and everybody loved it and I more or less told it like this is a two part story and after this second part uh y'all probably gonna hate me, which I was wrong. They loved the ending, I mean cause my main character, I built it up to where my main character was supposed to um, be. Where my main character was. 
not selfish, but um, he was. The darkness had touched me. There was a link between us. Always. <laughs> I wrote this one main character was a real, I wouldn't, he was a hero, but he was kind of that gruff hero who doesn't really want to do much, he just wants to get paid and get out, it was a Merc story. The Dark Presence was no longer trying to capture the writer so he could create the ending it wanted. The writer knew too much, he was too strong, and he carried a weapon left behind by Thomas Zane, something that could hurt it. Now. The darkness was doing everything in its power to simply stop the rider from ever reaching Cauldron Lake and the dark place it came from. Wow, this is a short one, isn't it? But uh, my character, whose name was Th actually believe it, believe it or not, whose name was uh, Thomas. Ooh, car. He, um, made it, he made it to the end with my big bad guy had his, uh, his, uh, what well, turned out to be the mother of his child, captured. Massive sword fight happened. Massive sword fight happened and, um, it looked like my main character got out of an escape, but I made it to where he uh, actually got critically injured, and uh, he ended up bleeding out. Ooh, ooh. Yay, yeah, ramp. I'm gonna be honest. I think the only. Uh, Cross the bridge. Those look like flares. They are. It is one flare. Even so, that helps. Shit. past the poltergeist okay now there's a poltergeist you son of a bitch back fucking itches there we go all right I'm back
I just want to keep moving, guys. Why hit me? Yeah, if you haven't noticed, I actually just got an, I actually got a new controller, so I don't deal with the uh, game constantly, uh, the camera constantly panning. Uh, I actually want to talk a little bit about Poets of the Fall. Uh, I have, thanks to this game, I have become a very big fan of that. Uh, group. I love rock music. So, uh, the music genre was a natural fit for me. I'm moving. Fuck. I don't want to have Y there. Because I was scared I was going to get hit and die. I hate the darkness. <laughs> the grass the grass get the uh get to the light and oh look it's Alan's car I like this cars are a good thing holy shit look at all it takes you guys Driving. Hey, look, the farm. I am not a good driver today. Uh, but Poets of the Fall, that's what we're talking about. I've come to love their music, it is so good. And they're, they're a European band. Oh, wait, I figured that out last part. I have a thing for European bands. Oh great, I'm stuck. That's great. I got stuck. Thank you, Bridge. Thank you, game. Well, at least it touched me here.
that really just happen? Probably going to die now. So you have to destroy that car. You have no choice. I'm going on for. I am getting the fuck out of here. Oh yeah, like, for sound. I'm trying to be quiet. I'm actually recording this at like 10:30. And I don't want to wake up my neighbors. I'm gonna die. I am so gonna die. I am fucking dead. Called it. <clears throat> Alright, we'll try it again. This time, take out the car. I'm almost there. Okay, that's gone. Run into the light, run to the light, run to the light, run, 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 run. Also, I could use ammo and a shotgun. That would help. Hey, a shotgun. That's actually convenient. I was just wanting one of you. Oh look, another car. That I cannot drive. What the fuck? Freaking cat. Alright, let's go. Cat scared me. down. Run them over them. Pop flare. I 
hate how they throw things. Away, beast. Three rounds left for the shoddy. Let's make that a little bit more now. Shotgun ammo is, you know, really a must. Revolver. Got this ammo and stuff scattered all throughout here, isn't there? Hello. You shithead. You game. Double kill. Run, 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 run. Mine. There we go. Lake was a graveyard of things the lake had claimed in one way or another over the decades. The dark presence brought them up in its wake, scattering the rotten waterlogged hull of an old boat here, the remains of a long ago crashed airplane there, trees shattered under the impacts, the earth groaned, it didn't even notice. Who voices that one, by the way? Well, I guess I figured out during the credits, but. Hey, a truck. Keep driving. So you just go around, not off road, okay. So go off road and immediately back on road, alright. Oh, I see. I am supposed to go. Shit. I hope I can get this thing completely stuck. Shit, I did. Well, boys, we're on foot from here. We are on foot from here. Unless I find another vehicle somewhere. I can't believe I went the wrong way. I thought I was supposed to go straight. See, Wolf, that's what you get for not watching the fucking uh, radar. So, I'm going to continue sprinting, at least until Alan gets tired here. Oh, I see. There's a stash. And a new vehicle. I want to follow these arrows real quick, because there's probably something good back here. Aha, a box. Ah! Fuck you.
Thank you. So, I know you guys have more than likely seen my... Uh, my little podcast videos I've been doing. I've started doing that. Actually, as of right now, I've only done three episodes, but... They're a good way to help me kind of vent. I'm really frustrated with how the world's been... With what, what's been going on lately. I don't enjoy hearing about all these riots. And all of it needs to stop. But if you want to watch that, watch my first episode. I make some very good points. Let's find hopefully some ammo that are collectible. Hey, batteries, including lithium batteries. Thank you so much. That helps a lot. Use the revolver, I got more ammo for it. Ooh, fire gun! I did not want to use the flare gun. I'm gonna regret using that flare gun by accident. What if I can uh Gates open. Let's get the hell out of here. And hopefully not come across anything I don't want to come across. I guess that's as far as the car is going to take us. I see supplies and a manuscript page. Zane cut its heart out, but it didn't die. The thing that wore Barbara's face kept crooning sweet nothings sugar laced with poison. He put on the suit, untied the monster from the chair. The thing in his arms thrashed weakly, but he held fast. He stepped outside, off the pier, and into the dark water. A sinking pinprick of light descending toward a bottom that never came. All right. Aha, that -er. I'm really enjoying the storyline of this game, guys. I know it's, I say it a lot, but man, I'm enjoying this. Flashbang, flares, flare gun. Don't use it this time. I saw them like use flashbangs and use them now. That's 
that's raising up. Go ahead and get back in the truck. I got a YouTube thingy move out there. Ah, uh, one of the commentators on one of Chandler's wildlife videos. I love him, by the way. He is a very cool YouTuber. Uh, Chandler's wildlife. Uh, he has a couple beautiful. I love animals, by the way. I love snakes. I love all animals on this planet. Uh, snakes are awesome. Uh, lizards, crocodiles, you name it. I'm a big fan of it. When I told Barry my plan back in the well-lit room, I'd acted as if I knew what I was doing. I didn't. I was operating on the shifting logic of a dream. I had to fight my way to the lake through the horrors of the night. I had to flick an old battered light switch imbued with childhood magic. I had to write a happy ending to a horror story. I had to save my wife from the dark prison she was being held in. Yay, quick time events. Thankfully, there's actually not too many of them in this game. What's that? Looks like... Looks like we have a fight coming up. They're giving me up with flashbangs, so. Those are instant death, aren't they? I had to write a happy ending to a horror story. Yeah. I dark prison Fuck. she was being held in. Oh, that is a message. I think that is my wife. Yes, it is. Alright, pick up the shotgun again and my flashbangs. I will never give her to you. He almost gave me a surprise to the face that I did not want. He's having my wife messaging me.
Phone, can you stop acting up, you bastard? Hey, give me five minutes, guys. So are we done with all the taken here? Or? No, I'm turned around. I'm just going the wrong way. Ah, there's a spotlight here. That's my wife, give me a second. Oh shit, hello! Emergency fire fang. Bullshit! That was bullshit. I try this again. To write a happy ending to a horror story. I had to save my wife. Really? From the prison she was being held in. Well, game, you put me back here. Fuck you. Try this again. This time I kind of have a good idea what I gotta do, but you know, I don't. I'll take that shotgun, thank you. I will never give her to you. Get 
up here and Oh, you have a fucking chainsaw. Do you mind? Shit. And my phone's dinging. Beautiful. Is that everybody? I think that's everybody. Yep. Back to the revolver. Yay, manuscript page. The dark place I found myself in was unlike anything I could ever have imagined. It wasn't solid. It flowed. It was conceptual and subjective. For someone else, an artist in another field, it would have been very different. I could sense the story of the manuscript all around me. The words and ideas floating in the air, poised to become real. That'd still be a cool thing. Uh, wasn't there a movie kind of like what Alan was going to do? Inkheart, I think that was the movie. Never saw that movie, actually. <sighs> Alright, we are making... Making our way there. The flashlight with charge. Peak in the distance. That's where Cauldron Lake was. Oh, hello, birds. Oh, I have even more ammo now. Sweet. That's a way to get around that fast. I see birds. I'm equipping the freaking anti bird weapon, the flare gun. Because I don't want my eyes pecked out, so. Oh, good thing I got off that. Right, let's continue on here. There is a ladder here. Let's see where this goes. Please die. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank 
keep pushing this thing. <sighs> That hurts. Thank God for regenerative health. I watch uh, GCN game gaming sins a lot, so uh, I'm very well versed in that. And every time I see regenerative health, regenerative health, health, all I hear in my head is ding. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you. Two full mag tubes worth of ammo. For that thing. Oh, I see. I fucked up. To just follow along. That is dead birds. Bad. What are they? I don't know if they're crows or ravens. I'm going to go with ravens. Sir, throwing shit is rude. Please die. Come on. Damn. Give me a second. Yeah, for the darkness splooge. Man, the darkness really needs to clean up after itself. Hey, magical red box. Oh, and a flare round. I like flare. I like my flare gun. I'd like to keep that topped off if I can. Because I have a feeling doing the final boss, that thing is going to become a god weapon. I'm treating it like I do a magnum. I only use it in emergencies, and birds qualify as an emergency. Give me a second.
Oh, I hit that. I hit that. Hello, bitch. Please die. I will use the flashbang to send my ass. Fuck off. Give me a second. Sorry, I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of messaging you, I'm kind of recording this for you guys and messaging my wife at the same time. Hate the speedy ones. Please die, thank you. Lay off the speed, dude. Oh, that was cheap. Damn, I hate those guys. The super fast ones, I don't like them. Alright, so we are making our way fairly quickly through this chapter. This is actually, I think, going to be the shortest chapter of the game. I can't say that because this is already pretty... Almost as long as the first episode. Damn. And one down. I'm like really gonna be edgy now. How many shotgun blasts you gonna take? Good lord. Generator. Wait, was that there last time? It must have been. I just didn't see it. Yeah, because there's that propeller. So I'm 
I'm gonna do with all that. I hate the fast guys. Ow. Sorry guys, I'm constantly being messaged. And I don't ignore my wife, so. Where the hell is this guy? Itching. Come on. At least I have more flashbangs. Die. Roller, a damn Xbox. Oh, come the fuck on! They're gonna start doing this shit. Like, really, they're gonna start surrounding me. Okay, this is annoying. Well, at least I had a checkpoint. always boost the light. I wish it was, uh, that I'm using it to zoom in and make sure I'm hitting my target. Hello, you shithead. Please die. I, I hate I hate this I hate the fact that they surround you it's such bullshit last time and I guess it didn't work this time. Come on. Oh my god. Give me a second.
see you. So you the motherfuckers that keep. Come on, can you not? Oh wait, there's two of them? I keep getting messaged. I said I can name I'm gonna flashbang him. Uh, I shine the light on you. That should have stopped you. Because it does any other time. But, oh, since I happen to be aware of shit now, uh, the game is playing dirty. Where is he? Give me a second. Constantly. Yay, checkpoint. I am so sorry, guys. I keep constantly keep getting messaged, and I don't want to be a dick and ignore my wife, so. Sorry about that. I see the hill here. Are you quite done there, darkness? Oh my god, I can't fucking Moving through the train yard. Good lord. God. Ow, darkness splooge. 
Yay, checkpoint. Come on! I ready to fall through the fucking floor? Sorry guys. Oh, I see. There's a second set of stairs here. Wait, is there? No, I just fell again because I'm a because I'm a dumbass. the way out. <laughs> hey, magical red box. Another magical red box, too, right? Pass that. I'll take all that. I'll take what I can. Thank you for the, thank you for the batteries. I needed to get the generator running. Alright, where's the Jenny? Where's the generator? No, oh, is it in here? That door is shut. Where's this fucking generator at? Nope. There it is, okay. You watch, as soon as I do something... They might have eight rounds for that. I'm gonna really be saving that. Alright, now that's good and done. Continue our way to the sawmill. Hell, I thought I had a chainsaw. You know what? I'm not gonna deal with you dicks. Flashbang. Oh, fucking hell. They have to be the fast motherfuckers, don't they? Hello, go to hell.
Thank you. Okay. All right, guys, we're almost done. I stood alone in the shifting dream that was the dark place. I had to find a way to the cabin. I'd written myself a way through this place in the manuscript. I followed the idea of a path. I'd written myself across the ocean that blocked my way, and with that, there was a bridge to the island beyond. The idea of the cabin flickered in the underwater darkness. I willed the cabin to be real, and it was. All right. We now. God, I'm sick of the enemies coming in from behind me. That is really, really cheap. Thank you, asshole. Do as you're told. I really that this lady needs to go to hell because I'm that was good. Oh hello, a tornado. How I destroyed a tornado. This doesn't seem to be doing jack.
Ja, nee. Please don't tell me that's the final boss. a bad dream it was just another nightmare no everything's fine you're home it wasn't a dream everything's fine turn the lights on turn the lights on oh i guess he's not over yet the power's out there's no light come back to bed and i'll make you forget all about your fear my fear? It's your fear. Why aren't you afraid? You're not Alice. Turn the lights on now. Where's the clicker? What did you do with it? Alan? You're scaring me now. Come back to bed. Have you taken your pills? Do you want me to call Dr. Hartman? I read your manuscript. It's brilliant. Departure is your best work yet. You're a genius. I'm so proud of you. Come back to bed. We'll talk more about it in the morning. Come back to bed, Alan. Come back to bed, Tom. <laughs> nice clicker. Thank God. Find your way to the cabin. It stands in your way. It won't let you pass. It has no heart. It's filled with darkness. You must fill its heart with light. Now it looks like we're going to the final stages of the game. Hmm. Okay, that's cool. Nothing like that had ever happened. 
You're not my Barbara. Tom, I promise to be good. Please, I'm tiny, naughty boy. I will help you out your I will love you forever. No, you're not Barbara Jagger. I made a terrible mistake. I should have never written you back. You came back wrong. Your heart is filled with darkness. Cut it out. Ah! Ah! Take you back to the dance you came from. Filled with darkness. Get away from me, you hag! Where am I? Let me go! Alright. Let's see what this cutscene entails. Now you will never get her back. I am much older than you. Older than your first work of art. I will find a new face to wear. Uh, someone else to dream me free. I could feel Alice's presence close by. I understood what I had to do now. I knew how to write the ending to Departure. There's light and there's darkness. Cause and effect. There's guilt and there's atonement. But the scales always need to balance. Everything has a price. That's where Zane had gone wrong. There's a long journey through the night back into the light. She got free. Alice is safe, that's nice.
There's the end of the game. Any good music? That was a great game, guys. You had a chance to play this. Please play it. God, we need a sequel. Sequel, 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 sequel. Please, remedy sequel. Ah, music. Ground control to Major Tom. Dude, that was a very, very good game, y'all. I thoroughly enjoyed that. <laughs> Thoroughly enjoyed that. Bills and put your helmet on. Ground control to Major Tom. Seven, six, commencing countdown engines on. Three, two, check ignition. And may God's love so the next game I have lined up to do is Alien Isolation. That's that's gonna be fun. Very fun. Alright guys, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy this, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thoughts of the game? Very, very well done. Very awesome. I will see you guys next time for Alien Isolation. Until then, I'll see you next time. We'll push 92 out. Enjoy the music. And I absolutely love this game. So... Yeah, I will see you guys on my next podcast and on my next playthrough. We'll pack 92 out. See you then.